G'day guys, welcome back to Paul J Avery Outdoors. Uh, welcome back, it's been a while since I've posted. Um, I've put a couple of little videos up from when we went to Bundy and whatnot, but uh, nothing serious. So today we are getting into it. Uh, what I want to do now is do a video of the camera gear that I am using to the camera gear I will be using. So we've just got some camera upgrades, which is fantastic. It's been four years since I've had anything but the GoPro. So um, mainly all my videos that I have on YouTube currently are from the GoPro Hero Black. Um, sometimes I occasionally use the Samsung to get a few photos to put in there and whatnot, but very rarely I would use this. Like me and my dad got this camera about seven years ago and I think he paid 80 bucks for two of them. So it does an alright job, but um, yeah, it's done, it's done me, it's done well for me in the past and you know, just to sort of get into it, this is how it all started. Started with this little camera and then it went into the GoPro and now uh, we're going into the Canon. Um, so currently, like I said, using the GoPro Hero Black 5 and we have just upgraded to the Canon M50. I'm so excited about this camera. I've been waiting years and me and the missus have honestly, we just bit the bullet, went down today and we got a new laptop and we got a new camera. So if you guys want me to do a video on my laptop, which is absolutely awesome, you'd be surprised what I got. Drop a comment in below, and then depending how many comments I got, I'll definitely do a video on that. But right now, today, we are talking about the camera. So let's start. So basically, I was using the GoPro for 99% of my videos. Every now and again, like I said, I would use this Samsung for a little bit of footage. Um, but we've swapped it out for the Canon M50 because I did a lot of research online, and a lot of YouTubers um, recommend the Canon M50 because it's small, it's lightweight, and basically it has a little camera, a little screen that pops out the back, and you can sort of watch yourself doing videos, and it's got really good focus, and it's got all that sort of stuff. I'm not, you know, 100% into it all. Like, I don't know all the specs on this thing, so if you do want to know the specs on this, just jump on to, I got it from Harvey Norman, so if you just want to jump onto the Harvey Norman website, punch in the old Canon EOS M50, it'll come up with all the information you need on there. Right, I haven't opened this yet, so I've been waiting to have dinner, I've got the kids and the missus and they're out doing stuff now, so basically got the kitchen to myself and we're gonna undo the unboxing of this. Uh, I've got a couple of little extras and whatnot and uh, yeah, I think we can unbox it together for the first time because I think this is a sort of a big moment in my career. So the GoPro has done me 608 subscribers today, uh, which I think is awesome. Hopefully we'll get it up there a bit more, but um, I think the first step is getting some really good camera, camera gear and sound. So let's do the unboxing and go from there. Righto guys, let's get into it. Let's unbox this spitty kit and uh, yeah, let's go through it. So first of all, camera didn't come with an SD card. So just ask the guy what's the biggest and best one you got. He's recommended the Extreme Pro. Um, SD cards 128 gigabyte so you get a couple hours of footage out of this apparently so um, depending on how we go I might go down and get a couple more um, I definitely need some more for my GoPro I uh, need another battery for my GoPro so we do have a couple of things in the pipeline just little things that you can just get week to week, to week. Um, second of all I got the an extra battery for it so I actually don't know the runtime on the battery but I know the GoPro like I would probably get you know, like a day's worth of footage out of it, and then that's it. You'd have to be very, very um, mindful of what you're video recording during the day um, and not using too much power because you definitely want to get through that night, next day, or whatever it may be without running out of power. Uh, but the way the ute's set up and everything now, um, we've got plenty of power in there. So we've got solar on top, um, all that sort of stuff. Um, let's open up the camera box. Oh no. So it looks like we've got um, warranty on top, a bit of warranty. So we've got the user manual. So I probably won't use this much guys because um, to be fair I'll probably YouTube it. If I need to know something I'll YouTube how to do it and to be honest there's that much that, ma that many videos online right now about this camera that I'm sure you will definitely be able to work it out by watching a few videos. Let's open him up. Right, first of all. Boom. So we got the strap. That's 
not too bad. That's good quality. EOS Canon. So that would just go onto both Eclipse on the camera, I'm assuming, and that would go around your neck. So that's that one. Uh, good quality. There's that one. Power cord. So I'm assuming that is one half of your power cord. It's exciting, guys. I'm bloody so excited. Right. What's this? Yeah, right. Right. So this is obviously the charger. So you don't plug into the camera. Um, you must use your battery and plug it into there and charge your batteries that way. But that's good because when you're using your camera, you can charge your secondary battery and swap them out and do it that way. You don't have to worry about your camera. So this one here, guys, you have to plug in and charge off a Samsung charger. And as everyone knows, the GoPro is the same thing. You've got to plug straight into it, so you're out of action. Um, but you can pop the battery out of the bottom of the GoPro and put a different one in, but I don't have a spare one. So uh, like I said before, I need a spare one for that too. So there's the charger for that, so that's awesome. This looks like the business end. Yeah, right. I don't know what this is. I think this is like a, I don't know what you call this thing, but um, this goes on the end of the camera. You just obviously click it on there. Hmm, fancy. Look at that. Fancy bit of gear. Must be the protector for the end of it. There we go, and then I'm assuming the yep, back comes off and that's the part that screws onto the back of the camera. Sweet. So, you know what that is, what have we got here? Battery. It's the main battery that comes with it, so we've got an LPE12 battery pack and LPE12 battery pack, so same battery I think, but look at that, which is good. So they should have about the same run times. And this is the bit, baby. This is what we've been waiting for. Let's get rid of that. Now let's open her up. Right. Comes in a bit of bubble wrap. Too bad. Like, yeah. All right, look at this thing. Holy shit. Look at this thing. Bloody hell, it's nice. It feels good. It feels so good. So I don't know how that would go like, you know, g'day guys. Yeah, right. I don't know how it all works yet, but, but that's it. So this is the back that pops out, just like that. Um, but the beauty of it is if you have it this way, I'm pretty sure, yep, you can just spin it like that and then you can actually see what you're recording, which is pretty awesome, I reckon, because the only way to do that with the GoPro is to have the mobile device hook it up to the app, which is not bad. But um, you sort of like, if you're looking up here and you've got your phone down here, you're always looking away sort of thing. Um, so this is great. So to have it there and look there, like, that's perfect, I reckon. But yeah, I reckon that's pretty cool, eh? So that just goes around. Um, yeah. Pops in. Battery on the bottom. Same thing, same as that one. So... That's the camera, guys, which uh, looks awesome, eh? I'm stoked with the feel of that. Like, it's nice and it's not too heavy, not too light. Um, I should be able to work out how to get my uh, video recorder on the top of this and plug him into the side because it has the external mic as well. So this just plugs straight in, um, which is awesome, eh? Because I think I needed a... A little pack like a little battery pack type thing it must be like a converter or something for the GoPro to the actual um, video recorder on top so I've got a road on there I will show you 
um, when I use this. Um, but what I'll do is I'll do the old swap camera. So I'll charge this up. I'll do the swap and I'll show you the GoPro that I've been using. And uh, we'll see the difference in the sound and obviously the footage that we get out of it. So I'll leave it in the exact same position, just swap the cameras over and we'll go from there. So I'll get to charging this big fella up and then yeah, I'll see you in a minute. Righto guys, so we've got him set up. How good is that? Uh, very clear. Um, basically I just uh, popped off, have a shower um, that's why I'm changed, but um, we charged that battery for about half an hour just to um, get enough charge in the big girl to start her up. Uh, first impressions, yeah, it's cool. Um, obviously, I need to know a little bit more about how it works, um, so it may be a few YouTube channels and um, uh, yeah, learn that way or have a go through the book if I really need to know something. But I will keep that book, I won't throw it away or anything, so if I need to have a look through here and whatnot, I can have a gander. Um, I might leave it on the bedside table, probably go through it, but most likely just do YouTube. Right, so uh, that is the sound without any microphone or anything like that. So guys, this is the camera that I have been using for the last four years. Um, so it's done me quite well. Um, I'll see if I can get a close up for you guys. So let's have a look here. Righto, so that is the camera. Um, probably not the best thing having black behind me, but yeah, Let's see if I can get it. Yeah, so. so yeah, that's it there. That's the uh, Hero Black. So basically, um, I put this Rode microphone on top and yeah, it's worked really well. So this bad boy is probably gonna go on top of that. Um, I'll do that just in a minute and we'll see what the difference is in the um, sound. So basically, yeah, so it clips in like that, just right into the side there. Um, and she's pretty easy to come off. And that's the Rode microphone like that. And there's your little um, amplifier that goes with it. So that is a pain in the ass guys. Um, if you're going to go one, go the other red one without it, just plug straight in because this pretty much, um, yeah, is, see, I don't know if I can plug this straight into that. I think I can get rid of this now because this was a GoPro, um, accessory. I had to actually buy this part online for GoPro from GoPro to use this microphone. So we can probably ditch that unless I'm going to use it on the GoPro. And now, um, cause I had to put a little bit of, I had to put a rubber band around there to hold it on as well. So, which was always a pain in the butt. Um, let's see if I can work this out now. So I've had it all tangled up. Right. I'll just get this off. So now I think we can just go straight in to the camera now onto that one up there. But um, yeah, so that was the Rode mic I had. And then obviously I had this one, this case I bought off eBay. So it come with a, a clear screen to go in here, but I've um, taken that off. And then you undo the little screw on the side here, which holds it in. And this has been great. Um, for the last four years it's done me, but to be honest, I'm gonna be quite happy to get the side back on this GoPro and get it back in its plastic plastic case and start mounting it onto some other stuff like the bull bar or the roof rack or the boat or the or my chest or wherever it may be for this little fella. So it's done well, it's definitely not out of use. I'm gonna put it to use probably a lot more than I did because it was always my vlog camera, right? So um, now we have that one there and what I'll do now guys is I'll plug this in and we'll do the video the uh, sound difference in it so let's do it Radio plugging in I just got to take this little black thing off so you take this little black thing off on top focus focus yeah, 
Anyway, so now she just screws on the top, like so. Oh, like a glove, eh? And then, it looks like this goes straight in to there. There we go. Right, so. That's it, that should be the sound plugged in, guys. So, um, yeah, drop a comment in below and let me know if it sounds any better, if this camera looks better, if the, the quality's better, um, anything. If you think what if you think the, the pros and cons are to this new camera to the old GoPro footage that we were just on, yeah. So, basically, that's it, guys. I'm super stoked with this Canon uh, M50, can't wait to put it to some use and take it away and get some mad footage. Uh, it looks pretty sick with that Rode mic on top as well, I must say. Um, but yeah, so GoPro is not out of action, but definitely um, we'll be putting it back in its old plastic case and yeah, um, we'll be using it that way. But need to get a camera bag now for this one. Obviously, want to look after it. And uh, like I said, guys, at the beginning of this video, if you want to see what laptop we got, drop a comment in below and like, comment, and subscribe, guys. And I will definitely do a video on that. Um, other than that guys that will be this that's it for the for this video um i hope you guys liked it i hope you've got something out of it um if you guys want to know any more about my little gopro setup if you actually want me to do a little close-up footage a uh, little video of this how i set it up with the case the road mic and whatnot and where i got it all from and all that stuff just let me know um other than that guys that's it uh like comment subscribe holler back at your boy i'll see you on the next one